Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the Gaming Ball Scorched Earth server. I'm Flinger Foo. I hope everyone's having a good day. I'm having a pretty good day. I'm starting out a little late. Um, I've already been over to the Wyvern Scar. I've already uh, been up to the Metal Refining Forge quite a few times today. Uh, <laughs> back over to the um, Wyvern Scar. I'm trying to get a whole bunch of XP and I'm trying to get a whole bunch of uh, stuff basically just set up so where eventually here soon we'll be able to go out and tame the biggest meanest rock elemental that we can get which takes resources which takes time which takes grinding which takes uh patience and which takes everything but for now um well yesterday we went out and we perfect tamed the dude so now the dude needs uh the lady so in order to get uh the lady and in order to reliably get uh the lady we are going to go out and i'm going to show you guys how to work the t-rex loop on scorched earth and now the t-rex loop a few people know about it a lot of people don't but i'm going to show you exactly how to get a t-rex to spawn where you want it when you want it i can't i can't control the level i can't control the um gender but i can control that a t-rex will indeed spawn there now every time a new one spawns you get a random roll on whether it's male or female and then a random roll on what on the level it is so as long as you are dedicated on working the loop long enough you can get whatever kind of t-rex you want yes it's that simple all right and i'm gonna um, take over uh bastet i've already got a whole bunch of kibble in my inventory we're taming a t-rex that's what's gonna happen we are taming a t-rex now <laughs> um i'm gonna leave bastet probably up on top of one of these mesas up here until i need her because when um it's time to once we actually get the t-rex we want we're gonna have to go tamer so now when we go tame the t-rex we're gonna want bastet not laser um because laser while getting the t-rex to spawn is pretty good um taming it not so good it's good for killing t-rexes uh laser's great for killing t-rexes all right so now we're gonna head over here to where i used to have my old base right when um oh scorched earth first came out so now we're gonna drop off bastet over here where she's safe I mean, I think Bastet will pretty much be safe just about anywhere. But, you know what? We're going to drop her off right here, and then I'm going to get this purple dropped. All right. Come on, land, dude. All right, so Bastet, you're safe, right? All right, and then back when uh, Scorched Earth first came out and I did my first series on Scorched Earth. Oh, wow. Ankylo Saddle. Yes, please. Thanks. All right, back when I did my very first uh, Scorched Earth series, my base was, like, right down there. Yeah, it was kind of cool. <laughs> I really enjoyed that base. That was really fun. Um, yeah, right down here. It was pretty awesome. All right, there's all sorts of resources down there. I mean, everything a growing arc survivor needs. All right, so Bastet, you're going to be safe right there, right? All right, so now I'm, we're going to come over here, and I'm going to show you how to work the loop. I'm going to show you how the, work, the loop works, and I'm going to show you where everything spawns. All right, see this T-Rex down here? Well, first off, I'm jumping ahead of myself. See where it says me on the map, down by that little area of water? That's where we are. Now, we're going to take a look. Male 114 T-Rex. We don't want this guy. We don't want him to stay alive. We don't want anything like that. So, we're going to kill him. Hey, dude. All right, so T-Rex has been disposed of. That T-Rex is dead. Now, let's head over like this. Just to the left of this uh, pointy rock right over here, there should be another T-Rex right down here. Oh, okay, he he spawned up here this time. All right. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at this guy. Bam, female 42, it said. Why are you moving? Stop moving. All right. Ankylo. Dude, that's what you get. Ah, jeez. All right, so uh, I think it's 42. Female 42. Yeah, okay, she cannot be alive. All right, so now we're gonna kill her. And then you have to harvest her. All right, ah, stupid harvester. All right, kill her, harvest her. All right, now let's come over this way to this pointy rock over here. And you can get up to two T-Rexes over here, but there's one T-Rex right there, bam. What level are you? 
Female Rex 24. Not what we're looking for. Alright, but every once in a while you can get a second T-Rex right here. Right. Alright, harvest. Alright, Pariser, we're gonna kill you. Because I think you might be taking up the T-Rex spawn. Alright, buddy. No, sorry, buddy. You gotta go for science. I'm showing the people how to do this. Alright? There's science involved, I swear. Alright, so now that we've got that to... Oh, here's the other T-Rex. There's the oddball. Alright. Male 96. Gotta die. Alright. And you can just work this entire loop. Alright, I mean, this guy's gotta get harvested. It's important that you always um, harvest them. Nothing will spawn. They won't spawn until you harvest them. Alright, so now that we've got that guy dead, we're gonna come back over here to this first one. Alright, now here, watch this. Alright, you're coming right over here to the edge of this. Bam! T-Rex. Nailed it. Male 114. Alright, this guy's gotta die. Now, I wouldn't be doing this normally, except we found the dude yesterday. And the dude is absolutely amazing. And there are ways of killing the Manticore with nothing but T-Rexes. And, I mean, if we have a perfect tame level 180 T-Rex, we might as well go with it. Oh, here's the other one. See? Bam. Always. Always, always. Man, oh, you're only... If you were female, I would tame you. 150. Alright, 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 alright. Let's get you dead. Alright, and this is the T-Rex loop. Alright, Alright, so now... And then also, I always come over like this. Um, when If you come over like this and you leave the area, it... It's to me it seems like it increases the chances of you getting a second T-Rex over on this side See right there's a T-Rex bam You're pretty female 18 not what I want And the only really downside with this is having to clear out your inventory every once in a while But you get you get quite a few uh, trank arrows free. Yeah, pretty cool all right, and I brought all the kibble, all right. And I brought salt for the kibble. All right, well, hey, I'm going to be over here working this, and I will bring you guys back, and I will see you guys in a bit. Because I'm going to be working this until we get a nice, awesome, the lady to go with the dude. No second T-Rex this time? All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, well, back over to this one. I will see you guys in a bit. All right, the loop never fails. There we go. That's what we're looking for right there. All right, she's pretty too. All right, so now we're going to go over and we're going to get back step from where we left her. And then we're going to uh, come over and we're going to uh, lure this uh, T-Rex probably over here somewhere by the uh, water area. It's just easier. Um, to uh, kind of control where she goes. Whatnot. Maybe we'll stick her over here against these rocks. All right, and you're out, girl. All right, cool. All right, so I'm going to let her starve out a little bit before I uh, get her... Oh. I'm going to go get these boars dead. Ah, come on. All right, <laughs> I'm going to go get these boars dead. One. All right, I'm just gonna let her starve out because she might get hit. But yeah, it's pretty awesome. All right. Yeah, I'm I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, what kind of. Uh... All right, let's get you following on me. Oh no, T. All right, go get it. Yeah, go ahead and poop and then get back here. Come on. All right. There you go. 
All right, and these Deodons around here, they are kind of freaking me out a little bit because um, they'll aggro on a T-Rex because they're dumb and they'll eat just about anything. So, yeah. All right. All right, yeah. Well, I'm going to starve her out. I'm going to protect her. I'm probably going to go run and go grab a uh, laser here in a little bit. But, yeah. All right. So, hey. That's how you get a T-Rex. That's how you get uh, whatever T-Rex you want. She doesn't have very good health. But, all right. Dude, what are you, what are you doing? Stop trying to eat me. All right. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. And we're back. All right, so I've just been uh, sitting here, paying attention, making sure nothing comes around. Eh, hanging out with Bastet. And then uh, starving this girl out. All right, so, uh, yeah. All right, and so let's see. How many are you going to take? Going to eat? There you go. All right, so 26.4... 39.4. All right, how many have you gotten? All right, let's put another one in there. 78.8, 92. Take most of that back. And let me give all that back. Come on, give me... Uh, yeah, I want to get all that back before you eat it. All right, so let's... Uh... All right, well, her melee damage is a lot better than the dude's. Stamina is lower. Health is much lower than the dude's. But, yeah. All right, so, yeah, this is kind of what I was hoping to get. All right, so. Oh, wrong one. The lady. There we go. We got the dude and the lady. All right, so, um, let's see. Uh, let's put you on neutral. Yeah, you're just going to keep doing that all day, aren't you, girl? Yeah, <laughs> all right. All right, so, uh, yeah, let's, uh, come on, get off. All right, let's put you on. There you go. All right, come on, guys. It's time for us to get our butts home. All right, back at base, and let's see. Can I get down here without getting aggroed on by something? There was tons of bad guys. I mean, I went down and I, uh... I hopefully cleared out most of them with a uh, laser right before I came up. But yeah, all right. So uh, let's go like this. Uh, saddle. Let's hop on you. All right, let's get... Sure thing. All right, <laughs> so let's get her up top. And I'm not going to level her up at all. Um, I'm going to keep her stats just so I know uh, which one is her stats and which one is the dude's stats because we're going to breed them today. I want to see just how good they are. If they're not that great, then we'll have to go out and find ourselves another female. Um, but uh, for the most part, she seems pretty good. But then again, now we can actually control... I'm going to put you right here. Uh, we can control, you know, how much we... Um, well, we can not really control... Um, there's stats, but, I mean, now that we have a mating pair with the imprint and everything like that, you know, we can kind of, uh, see what we can get. All right, so, hey, um, yeah, I'm going to get these guys. Let's see, uh, follow, follow. You're on highest. You're on high, all right. Let's get you, uh, wandering. Let's get you wandering. Let's see, is it gonna work? All right, let me get over like this. You guys close enough? Yes, you are. All right, I will see you guys in a bit. All right, so I have a fertilized egg now, and but um, I it didn't really occur to me that I uh, didn't have all the stuff to make it. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Um, I didn't have all the stuff to hatch it. So now we need to uh, craft up a couple uh, air conditioners and... I had to uh, run back over here. Let me put this back in the fridge. I've already been pulling out. I just took it out so where I can record this little bit. Um, put that back in the fridge. And then now um, I need to uh, craft up some uh, electronics so I can also craft up some uh, air conditioners. And I'm trying to figure out a best spot for air conditioners. I'm thinking 
right down here because I already have a plug right there. All right. But I think I might want to uh, make S plus air conditioners where I can hide this uh, thing. Let's see. Um, well, oh, electrical. All right. All right. So craft up four of those little suckers. All right. And so uh, once this is down, once these are made, and then we can go uh, um, set those down. So then we can get the egg hatched. And yeah. Oh, yeah, it's been a long day. <laughs> I've been over to the Wyvern Scar. I've been grinding XP. I've been getting a whole bunch of metal. Plus, I've been uh, taming up T-Rexes. Yeah, hey, so that's a thing. All right, let's take this, uh, step that down there. And then I think, I mean, I don't use this stair right here at all. So, um, pick that up. All right, let's see. Oh, these are the ones that just fit right in the wall, huh? All right, so let's get them. How are you guys, are you matched? No? Alright, well, can we get it right here? Or can I just set it right in front? Now, let's see. get you. I'm gonna have to pick up that one. Alright, let's see. You guys close enough so where I can just drop this? That's right, I put it back in the refrigerator. <laughs> All right. Wrong one! Alright, let's see. Um, Grab that. Grab this. Thank you! Alright. Is this enough? Drop. Incubating. All right. So, hey, yep. This is cool. All right. So, um, we're getting this Rex, which I have no clue on how I'm going to get out of the base once it's hatched. But maybe I'll take him up the stairs and out that way. I'll see if I can do that. All right. But, yeah. All right. Wish me luck. And I'll bring you guys back here in just a bit. See you guys in a bit. All right. And... There we go. All right. Hey, 284. That's awesome. All right. Let's you see your inventory. Let put a bunch of meat in you. All right. I see your stats. Wow. All right. Oh, we couldn't have asked for better. Oh, man. And you look awesome, too. All right. Come on, buddy. Let's put you on. Let's put you on low so we can get you out of there. Come on, buddy. Come on. No, this way. This way. Come on. Let's see if we can get you up this way really quick. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah, you look amazing. You have got great colors, too. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Put you on lowest. There you go. Come on, buddy. Let's get you up here. Come on. Can you come up here? Oh, look at you go. Come. Get up here. It's a ramp. Come on. Can, you can't go up ramps? Do you not like ramps? Really? There you go. Come on, buddy. There you go. And we can just raise you right up in here. Because you can get out of these doors. Because, yeah, reasons. Alright, so let's put a whole bunch of meat on you. And we're go- Whoa. No, 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 no. Stop. Stop. Disable wander. Yeah, come on back. Come on. All right. Wow, you look cool, dude. What are you? You're a male. Wow. All right. And this guy's got amazing stats. Um, I'm going to have to go see. Well, actually, I think I'm going to play back yesterday's episode just so I can see how much uh, melee damage uh, the dude had when I first tamed him. Because I, I remember it was it was kind of low. But with this guy right here, I can imprint so where he gets a hell of a lot more. So, yeah. All right. So, I'm going to turn this on to um, switch to manual. Thank you. All right. So, yeah. I will bring you guys back. And we're going to get this guy fully imprinted and see how well he uh, turns out. All right. See you guys in a bit. You don't want Lystrosaurus kibble. Or Gallimimus. Okay? 
None of that. We'll have none of those shenanigans around here. Okay? We've got all the other eggs. We just don't have those. Or Carno. You don't want Carno either. All right. Cooperate. Okay. See you guys in a bit. All right. We're getting ready for the last imprint. Cuddle. All right. This guy, he has been extremely cooperative. Um, he has only wanted, um, let's see, uh, one kibble. That's it. One kibble, which is absolutely amazing. Dude, you are so amazing. Just one kibble. And it was vulture kibble. And we have plenty of that. We've got tons of vulture eggs. It was so easy to just go whip that sucker up. All right. And then, um, he wanted a whole bunch of cuddles, whole bunch of cuddles, and like three walks. And this guy, I mean, <laughs> I, I'm waiting for him to finish, uh, um, mat maturing before all the rest of this updates, but he's already at 18k health. Holy crap. 100% imprint, 18k health, and we're get we've still got a, lot a while to wait. So, yeah, but I, I already know what I'm going to name this guy. This guy is like the beast of beasts. He is one of the best T-Rexes I have ever seen. So... I'm gonna call him Alexander. There we go. We finally found something that was good enough to be called Alexander. And you are going to be the spearhead of when we charge into the uh, Manticore area. That is if we do it solo. But yeah, I still plan on trying it with uh, T-Rexes because, yes, we must. Try this with T-Rexes. <laughs> All right. And because we've got the amazing T-Rexes bean. And it all started with the dude. And I just kind of happened upon dude yesterday. And then we kind of went out and we, uh, well, I, I farmed up the spawns over there. And I, I don't want to admit how long I farmed the spawns over there. It was, it was about two and a half hours. <laughs> it was a long time. And it doesn't take them very long to uh, respawn. I turned down... Um, a couple uh, 162s and 168s, and even one 174 I turned down in order to get the 180. But, oh my gosh. Um, so, yeah, now that you guys know how to uh, how to get T-Rexes on Scorched Earth, I really, really hope this helps you. All right. So, uh, yeah, um, I'm going to wait for this guy to finish up uh, maturing, and then we're going to take him out a little bit. But, yeah. All right. See you guys in a bit. All right. And he's... Fully matured now, and I got the saddle. I was hoping to be here for when he, you know, had that moment where he becomes, you know, and is no longer an adolescent Rex, or and just, you know, does that big roar and says, "Hey, I'm a big boy now!" Right? But I, I missed it. I missed it. I was out doing stuff. <laughs> so yeah. Um, now I'm going to. I've been periodically bringing out <clears throat> the. Uh, I'm heel pig. Where, can I see your stats, dude? There we are. Periodically bringing out the heel pig, trying to heal him up um, while he's maturing and to see if it works. And yeah, it does work, but there's a certain, uh, depending on their age, there's a certain limit that they can't go over. And now that limit is constantly raising. So I brought out the heel pig twice during the uh, um, maturing process. I hear you, foo. All right, calm down, buddy. I brought out the pig twice during the heal process, and... Okay, let's get you back up, buddy. All right, and it... Well, while it does work, it it only brings him up to a certain level. All right, so what? how many hit points do you have now? All right, 15,000. That's good enough. All right, and we can fit a Rex through one of these small ones, which is silly. But I'm not going to. I'm going to bring him over here. Come on. Oh, you are fast, buddy. You are really fast. Wow. I love the, the mix of the colors on him. It looks so great. It's the mother's colors and the father's colors. And it's just amazing. All right. Let's see. Yeah. You're awesome, dude. All right. <laughs> let's see. Let's get over here. Can we fit through here? I'm pretty sure we can. Yeah, there we go. All right. Get out here. Let's get chomping on something. Let's get your... Wow, you are really cool looking. 431 base damage. Holy crap. Oh, my God. And you're just so fast. Wow. This guy is a beast. This is like the best T-Rex I've ever had. 
<laughs> this is insane. And I've had some pretty good T-Rexes. Wow. Alright, let's see. We have a level yet? We do. Nothing's updated yet. Let's, uh... Bam! Oh, wow! Okay, now everything updated. 535 melee damage. Base. Wow. Alright, 2100 stamina. That's got the same. Wow, that is insane. And I was wondering what was going on with his health. It's just uh, with his food because it was like at, this is like 18,000 or something like that. And then, no, 15,000. And then this, it, it was like way over. I'm like, what's going on with that? And I didn't want to say anything. It's like, holy crap, did I break the game? <laughs> My T-Rex broke the game. That's insane. Oh, man. Yeah, you go, boy. All right. Yeah. Ah! This T-Rex is amazing. Absolutely amazing. All right, let's eat us some scorpions and some vultures and some other scorpions and another scorpion and one of those things and then come over here and then let's eat some of these guys. Let's eat this dude over here because he looks yummy. Yum, 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 yeah. All right, and then let's go over here, and hopefully we don't see a death orb. Actually, no, I want to see a death orb, because this guy does just so much more damage than the dude. It's insane how much damage this guy does. Wow. Oh, my God. I wonder how well he'll do against a wyvern. I mean, I mean, laser does more damage than this guy. No doubt about it. Laser does more damage, but... This guy is just so fast and mean and fierce that I want to see how well he does. <laughs> I'll probably get wasted the first couple times. All right, oh, and there's a wall. All right. So, yeah. All right. Well, hey. Ah. All right. I think that's going to do it for the episode, but I'm going to be out here leveling these guys up and seeing what's going on. Uh, seeing how far I can get this guy's level, because this guy is so fun. Is that a death worm? No. It was just a little swirly in the ground. All right. We don't want any more ground swirlies unless you're a death worm, all right? No, this, have no false advertising, all right? All right, but hey, yeah, if you like the episode, click that like button. If uh, the way to farm T-Rexes on Scorched Earth helped you out, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And until next time, this is Flinger Foo. And uh, take it easy, everyone. All right, all right, come on. You just die, Arthropleura. And uh, you know, I, I might need to actually tame me a couple of you guys just to just to mess around with you guys. Any loot drops over here? No loot drops? You guys aren't cool. You don't have any loot drops. All right, I mean, it, you'd be really cool if you had loot drops. All right, all right, take it easy, everyone. This guy's so much fun. <laughs> Ah, poop, and then Arthur Plura must die. Ah, yeah.